maintaining the quality of life right now, right yeah. in your community versus maintaining the quality over time globally, how well uh, is our next generation, our future, uh, future generations are being prepared at the companies, at the schools? How is that going on? Are they more open to this? And are there going to be more stricter policies globally on this? I think the young generation almost by default is a green generation. I am amazed and surprised when I've talked to young people or interview young people or even my daughters who are now young adults. Um, it's part of their expectation that they will have a friendly and benign impact on the environment. Whereas our generation was one more accustomed to exploitation and development. They're there to balance. Um, it, it's teachings that's happened since they were, they were children. They see it around it. And I believe that instead of having to now teach them how to be green, they are green. And they expect everything around them to be in a more environmental friendly context than, than our generation did, for example. Previously, you explained there's no uh, cost effective way to implement some of these green technologies. How would our next generation handle that any way different from we are doing? Yes, I think you'll see less of a uh, throwaway mentality. Uh, recycling is uh, a way of life for the younger generation. And so their products, they will expect that their products, for example, that they don't harm the forest of Malaysia, for example, that they don't lead to global warming. And given a choice, they uh, will choose a green product versus a non-green product if it's affordable. If it's not affordable, then you have to buy what you can afford. And I believe that's what's going to drive the mindset change and the culture change is the choices that the consumer will have. And if you have a green product and you buy it, then the non-green product will over time disappear.